There are some extraordinary young people here, passionate about rugby. They love their home grounds and their club's jersey. The kids love playing on the beach. It's the most beautiful pitch in the world. <laughs> you two over there should already have spoken to each other before starting. You get the ball, you bring it back and off we go. Rugby is an integral part of life in France's Basque country, just like here in moulin lichard but this isn't a professional club. The SAM team play just for pleasure. Don't wait for your teammates before moving forward. Whatever you do, don't wait for everyone to get in place. They spend their evenings and weekends feeding their passion for rugby in the Soule Valley on the region's borders. The SAM club is a hothouse for renowned players, some of which go on to wear the national jersey or even make it into the top 14, the French rugby league. Hey, how are you? It's definitely a priority for us to coach the young players. But above all, we need to make sure they stay. Our team's got one clear goal, but in order for us to reach that goal, each team member has to have their own individual responsibilities and feel good themselves within the team. Jean Echiteau is a cornerstone of the community in Moulion, and in more than one respect. After taking off his coach jersey, he then slips back into his priest's cassock at the local church of Saint-Jean-Baptiste. You are now, today, a Christian. Jean is the link between the two local religions, the church and rugby, and he's a true product of the Basque country. May you all have a pleasant Sunday. And may the SAM team be victorious. I'm sure it will happen. Enjoy your Sunday. Let's leave the lush green fields of the Soule Valley behind us and head towards the ocean at Onday. The beach is usually a magnet for surfers. The game of rugby still has an important place in the hearts of locals here as well. To prove it, we can count on this blossoming team. Are you ready? Yes. OK, we're off. Pass the ball on the ground. I've been an instructor for years now, and I've been playing as well, and it's just great. Teaching on a beach is fun. Oh, it's great. We're barefoot, the weather's wonderful. I couldn't have dreamt for anything better. It's brilliant. It's not always easy, however, to stay focused on the game. When we're in training, you have to listen and not make sandcastles. OK, let's hold out both hands to catch the ball. Ondai is located at the mouth of the Bidasoa River, which separates France from Spain. It's a race to the finish line. The team members come from both the French Basque country and from the Spanish province of Navarre, and it's up to the coaches to adapt accordingly. Rugby follows a different philosophy here. It's very different. This place was recommended to us, and we're delighted to be here. There's not one pocket of this region where rugby fever hasn't spread to. Along the famous Saint-Jacques de Compostelle pilgrimage route, this hostel was set up 13 years ago. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah. Welcome, welcome to Horizon. Jean-Jacques is the owner. I began the pilgrimage here because my father is a shepherd, just a bit higher up. So I drove the sheep when I was a little boy with my father and my two brothers. For Jean-Jacques, the notion of a spiritual retreat goes hand in hand with rugby. Get out the way, the match is on. Nothing would make him miss his own team's match, US Nafaroa. After spending 30 years with the club as both a player and a coach, it's become part of his soul. One ticket. One ticket? Yes. Nafaroa was formed after a merger between two rival village teams, Garazi and Baigori. They were united 15 years ago under the banner of one club. Well, yeah, we've only joined because we had to, really. I came here against my will. 
but you're here nevertheless. I've got to be, I love rugby. At first there were loads of different supporters who left, but then little by little everyone started to come back, just like sheep. Today, thousands have made the trip to support their team. They've come to defend their team's jersey and their club's identity. And that sense of loyalty is palpable in the crowd. There's so much enthusiasm here. They gave us a fantastic season and we thank them all because they're all such young players. Despite a few village squabbles, the game of rugby still manages to get hearts racing across the Basque country.